They don't have the right to do that. There's no better example than their ceaseless, relentless, uh, unending campaign of hoaxes and witch hunts. I've gone through so many witch hunts now. I'm a professional witch hunter beater. Oh, think of it. And then it turns out to be fake. After four years of Russia, 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 Ukraine, 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 the impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, the slandering of Justice Kavanaugh. Nobody ever went through anything like he went through. And the harassment of my family, which is a wonderful family of people that are great people. They love our country. And it's happening in New York. It's all, they're all taking their orders from the Democrats in Washington. But it's happening in New York and beyond. Now the radical Democrats have yet another witch hunt, no different than Russia, Russia, Russia. The unselect committee of political hacks, they're Democratic hacks, and they're vicious. And every one of them voted to impeach me, every one of them. And then you have Liz Cheney, who's now polling at 16%. And Adam Kinzinger, he's another beautiful, he's a crier. He cries every time you talk to him. Who, by the way, just dropped out of the race because he know uh, he didn't have the courage to run it. And we just lost Katko, too. He's gone now, too. They have fallen fast and furious. The ones that voted to impeach, we're getting rid of them fast. Nancy Pelosi has turned the U.S. House of Representatives into a Stalinist show trial. That's what it is. They just get the Democrats to stick together and just vote, and people get impeached. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to our country what's happening. And it takes the meaning out of the word. The unselect committee is out of control, secretly and illegally collecting many months' worth of phone records that you don't even know about. It's like this is like a communist country. Text messages, emails, location data, on countless people without notifying them, giving them a chance to defend their rights in court. They have no right. And by the way, the people that go before the unselect committee, they called me and they said, I've never been treated so horribly in my life. Right. Numerous people have called me. I said, what was it like with these horrible people? They said, it was really bad. I have never been treated that way in my life. And all they want to do, I mean, most of them, I can tell you, they just want to do a good job, but it's a shame. Then they're selecting, leaking all sorts of information to partners in the media. That's what they are. They're partners. Look at all those people up there. They came, they came to your great state. They came to your great state to say that nobody showed up for the rally. Nobody showed up. Bunch of phony people, just a very corrupt. You know, the only way you can stop this is if we had an honest media where they would report the truth, and then it would all end. Then it would all end. But the media, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, the media is a part of it, and the big tech, and the whole group of them. But we're going to beat them anyway, because I really believe we have many more people. You know, you can't be a 50-50 partner when you don't have voter ID. They're against voter ID. They want to defund the police. They want to take away your Second Amendment. They want to raise your taxes. All of these things, you're not a 50-50 partner.